I've never been up here. So I think high tide is in about an hour, so I should be good as far as that. And uh, I'm just gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. The 2022 Ultra 310 LX. So it's gonna be a good day. All right, guys. All right, I am I north end of Jacksonville. Uh, getting ready to take the 2022 Kawasaki Ultra 310 LX out. As you can see, it's kind of foggy today. I don't mind it so much because 20, 30 minutes ago, I mean, there's almost no visibility. So I think uh, by the time I launch, it'll be almost an hour before I launch. I still got it. Everything's still packed from the trip. So the plan for today is I'm going to head north. I'm going to try to go through some of that natural area up towards Amelia Island. Uh, I think I'm going to pop out into the ocean for a while, come back to St. John's River, go through downtown Jacksonville. If you guys haven't yet, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the like button, go ahead and crack that Liberty Bell for notifications, and uh, see you guys on the water. I bottomed out. Seriously. Holy cow, I'm in trouble. That's the first time I've ever done that. Well, I thought it said high tide at 10.30, it's 9.30, so hopefully we're gonna get more water. If not, I guess I'm spending the night out here. Crap. <laughs> okay, so here's an update. Um, I thought it said high tide at 10.30 a.m. That was actually low tide, and it's 9.39. So I'm gonna be here for six hours, actually, I'm hoping just like, I don't know, maybe three or four. I don't know how like how fast it starts rising, but I actually uh, hopped off and started moving the ski. Like I can pull it somewhat, but now, I mean, look. <laughs> and I've only been here for like, I don't know, 10 minutes. I'm hoping once the tie starts coming back in, then an hour or two after that, I can maybe start moving it. That's the update. Um, I think I might build a sandcastle. I should have brought the drum, but it didn't fit in the dry bag that I brought. Yeah. I mean, it's a neat looking area, I guess. I think I'm gonna drink my electrolytes and build me a sandcastle. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as I'm sitting here watching the tide go out, you can actually see the track that brought me in. <laughs> I don't know if that comes through on camera, but you can just see my, my. <laughs> oh man. Low tide is in 35 minutes. So I got probably, I, I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with tides like that. So, but I'm guessing two or three hours and it should be back in enough to where I can drag my ski over. Good thing is it's Kawasaki, true fiberglass, tough hull. Shouldn't be any damage on that. I I don't know how much damage is gonna be done to the pump and the impeller. As soon as I knew what I was doing, I cut it off, so hopefully I'm good. But I guess I'll update you guys momentarily. <laughs> You guys did it too? Yeah, man. <laughs> wife with a sea 300 stopped by tied ropes onto his 300 and the guy's a big guy so him and i were lifting and pulling while his wife was just i mean not full throttle but just pulling a little bit with the sea dude i don't know if that helped or not but it worked him out of here uh, yeah i'm going back it said okay i want to keep going that way to the ocean Ooh, i'm gonna go back that's the uh i'm out of breath that's the story stopped at the something island downtown Jacksonville I forget uh what it's called but we got the 2022 ultra 310 LX one of the sand shark anchors and that's a pretty and you can bring your boat out here and tie off or whatever but when I lived in Jacksonville the rumor was this place was infested with snakes like poisonous, all kinds of snakes. And it's just 
super dangerous and uh, I've since learned that that's not true um, they said that the rumor was <coughs> all the snakes because locals who enjoyed coming out here didn't want everybody else this is really neat got a couple build it looks like there's another one back here oh is that a turkey there's something back here let's go check it out I hope they don't attack. I don't know enough about them. That's funny. Anyway, so it looks like there's a trail that goes on back there. Uh, hmm. It's like a little pond in the middle of an island that's in the middle of St. John's River. Okay, that's neat. I saw a couple different trails, so I'm kind of thinking maybe uh, it was all the way around. I don't know. Kind of open in there and right there if you guys see it looks like there used to be a like a fire bonfire or something this is kind of neat there's a blue diamond on this tree my assumption is there's probably multiple trails, and this is the Blue Diamond Trail. I don't know. Over there's a couple picnic tables way over there. 